Good day everyone, today we're going to discuss the 10 most famous Filipino artists with their artworks. Now let's go on Crisis in Humanity by Benedicto Cabrera or also known as Ben Cap. Um, Crisis in Humanity is an art that made for all of those Filipino na, uh, na malaman yung rights nila. This was made for those Filipino to know their uh, to know their rights to know their freedom and then to know their value as a person and as a Filipino um, we all know that Ben Cab or Benic Benedicto Cabrera was an uh, arguably the best recognized uh, Philippine artist and in selling paint paintings of his uh, generation um, and one of this is crisis in humanity. Crisis in humanity serves as as an eye opener to all of uh, the Filipino in this in this country to uh, to boost our confidence that we have our rights, we have a human rights to uh, to be treated well, and then we have a right to be uh, to be treated as a person. Now let's go on. Uh, España y Filipina by Juan Luna. Juan Luna is one of the most uh, famous uh, famous artists that we know. Um, he is uh, he is a painter, sculptor, and a political act activist. Um, he, at his time, uh, he is the first uh, Filipino art artist that recognize into the other into the other uh combat to add into the other country rather um uh, espana y filipina is an art uh that made by one luna that will serve as um as a good relationship between the colonial colonial period of of spain and then the philippines there are two uh there are two there are two women that uh, comes together that serves as a that serves as a unity of the two country, which is the Spain and then the Philippines. And that's all. Thank you. My name is Magdalene P. Patesho. I will uh, discuss about Sabel in Blue. Sabel in Blue is, um, is a major subject that recurs through Ben Cup's work through the decades. Inspired by a real life scavenger, he photographed and sketched in 1965. Sabel in Blue just became uh, the artist's vehicle for the transmission of intensely emotional moods. When pushed to the limits of abstraction, the, the cycles of the Sabel in served as a fertile ground for the investigation of shape and structure. Thank you. Good day, I'm Eric Kanang, and today I will discuss the Filipino artwork of Bernardo Marsolo that named Ruth Gabriel. And as you can see, the lady closest to the main lens when viewing the picture, and the lady is located in the middle of painting as an equalizer to the whole story. The empty space of the right portion of the painting gave the subject more focus on the basket of fruit that she's holding. And the next Filipino artwork that I discuss is the Gathering Heroes by Juanito Torres. This painting was released in 2017. Uh, this is important artwork to see for Independence Day. This work was created by a variety of artists, from re-owned painters and national artists to more contemporary Filipino artists who use our roots as an inspirational for the canvas. The painting depicts key figure of the Filipino history. And that's all for my report. Thank you. Vicente Manansala, Vicente Manansala and, they, and their artwork is Madonna of the Slum. So, Madonna of the Slum picture woman bearing a child as a subject. It was clearly shown in the picture together with the houses most commonly founded in slum areas or highly populated residential areas as a background. Madonna is the portrayal of a mother and child from the countryside who became urban shanty residents once in the city. As I know, the painting beauty, beautifully dispects the mother of the the mother love of the Virgin Mary of Jesus. So the conventional meaning of his artwork 
mainly focuses on the lives of people finding refuge in the slums or a highly populated urban residential areas. So the second one is Rice Planting by Fernando Amorzolo. Through Philippine culture, this is a theme that composes most of Fernando Amorzolo artwork. Rice planting is among those that depicts the real Filipino tradition that is, that is still applicable until the present time. This painting, I believe, is a representational art, is a portrait, something other than its form. This painting falls under the classification painting of genre painting as it's painted in the contemporary, contemporary life of Filipino farmers when it was painted as they are engaged in their regular everyday occupation and activities. Behind the workers, a, far a farmer with a carabao cloth in the background is a cluster of nipa hats along the thick accumulation of tree and weeds. The central groupings of lush trees and hills provide an idyllic setting from the workers beside a, beside a mountain view or background. That's all. Good day, ma'am. Um, I'm Kyle Manau, um, one of the one of the presenter in the some of the famous artists and their artworks. So, um, here are my artists, and the first artwork that we have seen is the cross at Mount Samat Bataan, that was made by Abue Napoleon Abueba. So Napoleon Abueba attended the University of the Philippines with Joya and was mentioned by. Noted sculptor Guillermo Talentino at the College of Fine Arts, and he was born in Bohol. He is also the youngest national artist awardee appointed by our President Marcos. And as we can see, the cross at Mount Samat Bataan completed in 1970. Um, this um, this sculpture is adept in traditional representation and modern abstract forms of sculpture. A trip around the University of the Philippines will show you a number of his works, um, such as the University Gateway, diba? and nine muses near the old faculty center. He was also responsible for the relief marble sculpture seen in the War Memorial Cross in Mount Saman, Bataan. Um, it is the second highest cross in the world. So, yun yan, one of the best, siya, diba? and the tallest in Asia. Under the commission of the Philippine government, Abueva collaborated with designer Lorenzo del Castillo to create a shrine that commemorates the thousands of Filipino and American soldiers who lost their lives during the Japanese-led Bataan Death March in 1942. Um, as we can see, um, Napoleon Abueva um, created this kind of cross or sculpture to um, to memorize or the to adopt one of the that march in our country and i think inaalay niya rin to para sa mga namatay di ba so parang ito yung naging monumento nila or monument para sa kanila so next is um next slide um this artwork is sagada by eduardo masfere um here in um in this artwork if you can see this is a photography not a painting. Um, and this was captured by Eduardo Masfere. Eduardo Masfere, further north of Baguio in the mountainous province of Sagada, was born to a Filipino mother and a Spanish soldier. He is regarded as the father of the Philippine photography. He documented with great detail the everyday lives of indigenous, indigenous people of the Cordillera. So yung mga may hirap na tao. Hindi naman sa may hirap, pero yung alam nating mga taong nasa below level ng mga taga Manila like dun nga sa Cordillera and the self taught photographer process his own film in a makeshift dark room so siya mismo yung gumagawa ng kanyang short film like sarili niyang effort di ba uh, mas various photographs have found their way into exhibitions around the world so hindi lang pala dito sa Pilipinas napapakita yung kanyang mga klase ng photographs or yung mga captured niya by his camera also all over the world uh, um, the Smithsonian Institution carries at least 120 prints of his works. So, napakadami nun, di ba? Yun yung mga gawa ni Eduardo Masfere na nakuha nga ng institution. So, the National Muse Museum um, of Natural History in Washington, D.C. 
<clears throat> ay nagkakaroon ng 120 prints of his works. Um, he is remembered for his book on the people of the Philippine Cordillera photographs, as we can see here in my presentation. This is um, from 1934 to 1956, which was published in 1988. Um, and a country in Cafe Sagada is named after him and is worth the visit to see copies of his prints. So, makikita nga natin dun sa isang cafe dun sa Sagada na, na nakapangalan din sa kanya, tapos nandun din yung kanyang mga artwork. So, ayun, kung meron tayong chance to visit um, his artwork, so, you know, ma-appreciate natin yung mga artwork ng mga artists natin dito sa Pilipinas. So, yun lang po. And thank you.